in this field is we can see we've got a, uh, a consistent headland boundary all the way around the uh, around the field um, but if I wanted to is I could alter this uh, this internal headland boundary and the way I do that is if I come into my uh, my settings I come into my uh, my headland settings there so you can see here is we've got a headland width of 24 meters but if I scroll down is I have this button here saying headland segment settings if I tap on that one there and you see at the moment we have one headland uh, segment so I can add segments there so I hit the uh, plus button and I can say because we've got a, a fairly even shape field I can say add in uh, four segments now in the uh, in the field and I could then set a, a headland width so we'll set that at uh, 24 meters again so we've now got our uh, four headland segments in there all set at, uh, at 24 meters but if I'm working up and down the field here is I could push say headland segment four and two uh, closer to the actual field boundary and the way I do that then is I highlight my segment so I've got segment 2 there it's highlighted I can alter the segment width and say for our sake I could push that down to, uh, to 6 meters and then it moves that uh, segment uh, to 6 meters away from the boundary I could again do that with uh, segment 4 again alter that to uh, that width and if I want to do I could put that one on top of the actual boundary line it's, uh, itself so it just means then that uh, I'm, I can be working up close to these these two uh, edges of the boundary, but still have my uh, my headland segment uh, uh, width set at the uh, at the top ends or the top and bottom of uh, of each field.